So, back in the day, if you wanted to play heavy games at good settings, then you were likely to purchase a flagship smartphone at about $800 to $1,000. But now, you can play games with awesome graphics on a $350 mid-range smartphone. Add this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. This smartphone is really trending and attracting a lot of attention in the market. Well, it's because of its amazing design and top-of-the-line features. Read its complete camera capabilities and its review. But today, I will review its complete gaming capabilities. Well, for starters, it has a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra chipset, which is an upper mid-range chipset with good performance for its class. And because of that, the smartphone gaming capabilities is awesome. Well, I will be testing heavy games like S49, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty Warzone, Free Fire, and some other games. But before I start, I want to mention that the setting of the smartphone were a default. And yeah, this video is sponsored by Sharjah Mobile. More on them later in this video. You can turn on the performance mode to boost up the performance a bit, but that will consume more battery and will produce a lot of heat. However, I am going to be testing the smartphone in normal mode. Plus, you turn on this performance mode at certain games. Also, there is the game Turbo, which has certain features, but my favorite one is game interpolation which doubles the frame rates and makes the gaming experience good so let's start this review and start testing the games to see how the gaming capabilities of the Redmi note 13 pro plus 5g are let's start the call of duty warzone when i launched this game i was a bit surprised because the game was running exceptionally well at the start i turned on the performance mode and the frame interpolation because this game is pretty heavy for a mid-range processor and i was playing this game low with max frame rates and it was taking a bit long to get into the match, so I will just speed up the video. As soon as the game started, I was surprised by how smoothly it was running. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I really love playing this game on the larger screen. This game looks exactly like the PC version. Graphics, the physics and the overall movement. Plus, I was new to this game, so I was a bit noob at the start. Well, I was just messing around on the map. And yeah, you guys are right. I could have just screen recorded it, but that would have put a lot of load on the chipset. So I decided to do a video recording. The game didn't lag at all. I mean, some games lag a little when the enemy is nearby. But as you can see, the game didn't lag at all. And that's what I really like about this smartphone. I mean, because of the game interpolation, this game was running exceptionally smoothly. And then I was knocked out. Well, here is another clip. The battle was intense and there was no lag at all. Plus, the temperature of the smartphone was within acceptable limits. So yeah, Call of Duty Wars runs smoothly on this smartphone. I have played this game for about an hour and the game was not lagging at all. Plus, the temperature of the smartphone was also good. Well, I would like to mention something. The room temperature was about 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. So maybe that's why the temperature of the smartphone was good. But if you are watching this video after one or two months, then I know. The room temperature will be about 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. So that will be a entire different story. So the temperature of the smartphone really depends on your place and weather. Well, let me show you some highlights and screen recording. So get ready. Well, the screen recording was a bit lagging. The reason for that is because I was screen recording this game at 1.5K resolution with 22 MB bitrate and 60 FPS. So that's why. And I knew it was going to happen. So let's just say it's okay for a little bit of lag. And I must say, the overall game did look good. The game was lagging but not all the time. So yeah, the Call of Duty Warzone game runs smoothly on this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. Well, if you want to speed up, then use the timestamps to jump to another game or just watch the highlights of this game.
One of your allies is game. Now, if I talk about the Call of Duty Mobile, then this smartphone can run it with maximum graphics and with maximum frame rates. And the gameplay is actually smooth. As in this stadium, I really don't know what happened to the textures of this game. Well, the game was running smoothly and the texture response was also fast as well as the gyro. But after turning on the frame interpolation, the game just felt super smooth. I mean, the movement was so smooth as well as the overall gameplay. Plus, I was screen recording this game with 1.5K resolution and with the bit rate set to the 22 MB. So it was recording on max settings. So yeah, the game ran smoothly. Now let's move on to the battle royale. Well, this smartphone is handling this game exceptionally well. I mean, I haven't seen any sort of lag or stutters while playing in this mode. And the frame interpolation seems to work exceptionally well here. So if you want to watch the highlights of this game, then continue watching. Or if you don't want, then use the timestamp to jump to the PUBG mobile game. Airdrop has been delivered. Teams. Only two teams left, getting close to victory. Now, the PUBG Mobile game is a bit confusing. Now, the PUBG Mobile game runs exceptionally smoothly here. I mean, look at the stadium match. It's just buttery smooth with faster touch response. I really enjoyed playing PUBG Mobile on this smartphone. Well, because of the display, the game is great. I was playing this game on smooth with extreme settings, so it's 60fps. And I also turned on the game interpolation, so frame rates were doubled from 60 to like 100 or 120. So that's why the game is so smooth. And you know what? I'm actually considering that this smartphone is really good at gaming. I mean, you saw for yourself how well it can perform in Call of Duty Warzone and Call of Duty Mobile. So yeah, it's a good gaming smartphone. Plus the game runs smoothly because I haven't turned on the screen recording. So that is why I'm going to show you the battle royale with screen recording. But for the TDM match, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G performs well. So now I will not get you bored with the rest of the gameplay. The battle royale. Well, the first thing I did for the battle royale was to boost the game interpolation and turn on the performance mode to get the most out of the smartphone because I was doing screen recording. So I didn't want the game to be lagging. Plus there seems to be too many players playing this game because I was in the match in like 2 seconds. So let's just say that it's a good game because a lot of players are actually playing it. Well, the first thing you will notice as I land is the gyro, which is a lot sensitive and actually works faster. So that's good. And yeah, PUBG Mobile players may ask Hamza. Why did you land outside of the hot area? Well guys, I'm kind of a noob in the battle royale. So I wanted to loot first and then hunt. And that's exactly what I did. I looted some house and then went for the enemies. And I heard some footsteps. And my heart was beating at super speed because I was confused about what to do. But I did it. 
Well, there seems to be so many enemies, but you know what? It's fascinating. Well, in terms of gameplay, I will say that it's just so smooth. I mean, I barely even notice any sort of lag or stutters. So for my PUBG Mobile game lovers, guys, this is a good phone for PUBG Mobile. I mean, I have run on the performance mode and it gets smartphone a little hot, but that's due to the screen recording. So if you are someone who has the smartphone, then buddies, you don't have to turn on the performance mode because you will not screen record this game. Well, enjoy the highlights. Well, look at this dude running in the open. <laughs> I feel bad for him, but you know what? It's a lesson for him to not run around like that. All right, I will say I was a little pressured because I was playing this game after a long time. So I knocked this guy too. All right, so here I did a little smart thinking and killed them both. And then I just hate these ghillie suits. My heartbeat was so fast when that guy stood up and fired. But you know, you don't have to mess with the wrong guy. <laughs> well, after that, I knocked some other guys and finished them. And finally, knock another enemy. Guys, tell me in the comment section how my gameplay was. Well, I think I'm quite good at long range. And then you were searching for the final guy. And he was hiding behind that tree. But you know, he can't hide from us all. And we did take him down. And I thought I was the man of the match. But I think my teammate was too good. So yeah, that's all for the PUBG point. Now, if I play the Free Fire, for Free Fire, this smartphone can run Free Fire at maximum graphics. And the gameplay is also quite smooth. I only turn on the frame interpolation, not the performance mode. And as you might not know, I am not a fan of this Free Fire game. I mean, there is no recoil in this game, there is no gyro, and the overall movement is somewhat weird to me. But no offense to all those 1 billion players who downloaded this game from the Play Store. Well, regarding the game experience, the game does play smoothly with good graphics and max frame rates. Now for my favorite game, Ace Vault 9. Playing Ace Vault 9 on this larger screen is just awesome. Well, look at it for yourself. The larger and sharper display really makes this game look amazing. Well, the gameplay is smooth, as you can see, and the overall graphics, I will say, are on the level of a PC. This game is by far my favorite among all of the other games I've tested because it doesn't require that much effort to play. <laughs> but I'm kidding. It's just that the graphics looks awesome for a smartphone. Well, I won the game. And now let me show you some screen recording of this game. All right, look at the graphics and tell me how it looks. Isn't it awesome? I mean, the water drops, the crashes, the physics, and slow motion. Damn, I really love this game. Well. Tell me in the comment section which one is your favorite game. Plus, if you don't want to watch further gameplay, then simply use the timestamps to get to my final verdict.
So the gaming performance of this smartphone is quite satisfactory. It's an all rounded smartphone for this price. It has an amazing design, amazing cameras, an awesome display, state of the art connectivity and many more features. So. If you are someone looking to buy an awesome smartphone for overall use, then this might be the best choice. But keep in mind, it's not a performance driven smartphone. I would say it's an all rounded smartphone. If your priority is performance, then I would suggest to go for other smartphones in this price segment, like the OnePlus Nord 3, IQ News 7 Pro, and many more. Or if your budget is the same as the smartphone costs, which is around $350, then I have reviewed the flagship OnePlus 10 Pro, which now costs around $350. As you know, every smartphone has ups and downs. So you decide for yourself which one you should go for. Well, if I were you and I had to choose between these two, then I would go 100% for the OnePlus 10 Pro because it's a real flagship and it's really doing better in everything if you compare them side by side. Review its camera, gaming capabilities, and overall review. So you can watch and see for yourself. Well, if you are someone who doesn't prefer all flagships, then I highly recommend to go for this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. So, if you live in Pakistan and you want to buy new smartphones at amazing prices, then Sharjah Mobile offers some of the best prices in the market. They provide best in class customer service and have partnerships with other smartphone companies like Vivo, Oppo, Infinix, Tecno and more. So if you are planning on buying your next smartphone, whether it's new or used, then contact them or visit their shop. I will leave their contact number and address in the comments section. Plus, use the code Hamza to get exclusive discounts on smartphone prices. So yeah, this was the full review of the gaming capabilities of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you really like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Samsa, this is Headstack and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full camera view of this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full overall review of this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.